Hello everyone, welcome to the Hypergamous Journey. As you may know, some of you may know, this channel is for women who are 55 and older, who are dating or would like to date and to marry a man at a higher social and economic level. This video is inspired by a video that I saw by Matthew Hussey, H-U-S-S-E-Y. He is a rather young, I think he's in his like mid thirties, late thirties, mid thirties, um, young man. And he gives dating advice to women as a lot of men do, no judgment here. But his perspective, I feel, has a lot to do with, in my opinion, chasing after men, you know, trying to do too much figuring them out. In my opinion, a not so good way. And maybe it's because of his age demographic and my age demographic, he's old enough to be my son and maybe my grandson. <laughs> um, that, you know, I just take the gems and leave the rest. So, you know, I don't have to agree with everybody. Everybody doesn't agree with me. And so I just take the gems. And so this video, his video was talking about a man got up from one of his sessions, stood up in one of his sessions to state that his ex broke up with him and she has moved on in like, three or four months, she's dating someone else and he's still kind of marinating in his sadness. First of all, it doesn't look like there's many men in the, in the room. So he is surrounded by a sea of women and he's talking about his sadness, his feelings, which was very courageous of him. And Matthew said something, and this is what, paraphrasing, he said that resonated with me. He said that when some, and he said he, the man said that he was involved with this woman for five or six years. And this man looks to be in his thirties. And my initial re reaction was, well, did you expect her to hang around for 10 years? And why were you with her for five or six years? And my thinking he didn't reveal it, but I'm just assuming. And you know, when you break assuming down, what that could mean. So, but you know, I have no context because it's a video. I didn't watch it to the end, or did I? I think I watched it to the end. And Matthew had a good, good, good message for him, but this he was in a relationship with this woman for five to six years. She left because she probably felt it was going nowhere. He didn't say, you know, uh, she wanted to get married. He didn't go into the reasons why they broke up. He just talked about his sadness about the breakup. And, you know, I'm glad she broke up with him after five or six years. She probably wanted to get married because he looks like he's in his 30s. And he didn't want to do that. And so she probably said, you know, bye. And now you're sad. So too bad he didn't go into like why they broke up because that would add context to it. But I'm just assuming that at the age that he is and after, you know, being in the relationship for so long, she probably wanted to go forward and he did not. He wasn't ready. So now he's sad. Now he could always go back to her if, you know, he feels like he wants to get married or whatever. I'm assuming. But what inspired the video was Matthew said that his ego is involved. His ego is involved because he thinks that this woman was the one for him and that her leaving means that he lost the one for him. And Matthew said, well, she can't be the one for you if she left because the one for you would still be with you. <laughs> I'm like, why do we always have to make it so complicated? 
myself included. Why is it so complicated? If all of the dates were interested in me, they would have asked me set for second, third, fourth, and I would be in a relationship with one of them by now, right? If they were for me. None of them were for me. And the men that do have my number, they can always call me or text me and ask what's going on. And we can revisit the dating, the dating situation. So when Matthew said that it was the man's ego that was involved, I thought, well, isn't our egos involved in everything, in every relationship that we have? whether it's platonic, romantic, um, professional, our ego is kind of just hanging around on either shoulder, you know, waiting to put their two cents in, waiting to put its two cents in. And we have to be self-aware to know that it's our ego. Now, you may have to ask yourself a series of questions. Do I want him or her back because of my ego? Or really do I have some sort of relief that they're gone and out of my life? I've had to ask myself that many, many, many times. Do I want to be with that person because they're a good fit or a good match, that they match my um, list of criteria that I'm looking for in a man or do I want them back because I'm lonely I or oh, any other crazy reason that really doesn't really isn't good I shouldn't say make sense because we can always come up with reasons that make sense to be with someone when we know deep down that we should just you know wish them well and the funniest thing about, I guess for me, I can't say, I'll say about being a human being. If you have done your inner work or have worked on yourself emotionally and have really tried to um, excavate, emotionally excavate your issues, and you know, bring them to the surface and release them into the universe. Um, you know, <laughs> you know when you just want somebody because you're lonely or any of the reasons that I just mentioned, and not because they really are a good fit. And we know when people are, when men are a good fit for us, ladies. And men, you know when when ladies are a good fit for you. And maybe it's somebody you released in your past. And if you're a man, maybe you need to go back and revisit it. And if you're a lady, you can give them what Dr. Patricia Allen calls a ritual stroke. On the holidays, you can send them a very, you know, happy Thanksgiving text message and maybe your name and see how that works or responds. But it's a very light touch, but it doesn't seem like it's a full on pursuit and I gotta have you in desperation. It doesn't feel like that. So that video inspired me by Matthew Hussey, inspired me about the ego. And if the person is really for us, the man is for the woman and the woman is for the man, they wouldn't be gone. They wouldn't be gone. And there's a difference between going because it's not a good fit and going and taking a break <laughs> because you've had a little disagreement, you know, and you need to, you know, go to your respective corners like rest, like boxers, go to your respective corners and think it out. And then someone or both of you will call each other and say, you know, I thought about this and, you know, your point was, you know, your point is take well taken and I think you were right. And then they can come back. That's different from like, you know, just putting a little space between you and going and just like leaving the relationship. So, yes, our egos get in the way um, that prevent us from getting close. And also our egos get in the way in terms of us 
staying close to somebody that we really need to let go. And if that person or man was for you, they wouldn't be gone from your life. They'd still be there, right? Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.